It's hard to imagine that there's not enough. It's everywhere, and it's essential for our survival. Water covers 71% of our planet, but we sometimes forget that 96.5% of that has salt in it. The first guy to ever use for osmosis was a Frenchman making wine. He found that he wanted to dilute his alcohol that he had distilled. It was too strong, people couldn't drink it, and he wanted water to dilute it, but he couldn't find a source of fresh water in Paris at the time. So he took a pig's bladder, filled it with his alcohol, and then hung that in the river, and then the osmosis would cause the water to flow through the pig's bladder. So 1791, my technology was founded. John Webley spent a full career in fiber optics, and after decades of work to change the way we communicate, John wanted to tackle an even more basic human need and started his desalination company, Trevi Systems. If you look at the stress the world is under right now, and seven billion people is just barely okay, nine billion people, we're not gonna make it. There's not enough food and enough water to sustain a population of nine billion. When I think of desalination, I think of reverse osmosis. That's sort of been the golden standard up to this point, but you guys are doing something completely different. Yes, what we do with forward osmosis is saying instead of pushing the water with this amount of energy, let's draw it through the membrane with what we call a draw solution. And in our case, we have a polymer draw solution that's pretty exciting because if you heat it up, it actually separates. Desalinating water, it's quite controversial because typically it's incredibly energy intensive. That's something you guys are taking on here, correct? Yes, so we're taking on and we are making sure we don't have to use as much electrical energy, but instead we use other sorts of of energy, so what we call lower sorts of energy, so you can have waste heat, that's what we're using. So anything when you do something, you have friction and that creates waste energy. So if you can harvest that and use it to desalinate water. Walk me through how this process works. So the water comes in through a pipe. We have a pretreatment system here. Um, and then it goes to the forward osmosis part of the system, which is here. This is the forward osmosis uh, membrane. So if you were to open it, you would see like tens of thousands of uh, very, very fine straws. And that does the, the separation, that's the membranes. And here is our separator. So you have the draw solution separates and falls at the bottom and our clean water is on top. Electricity today accounts for about half the cost of water in a, in a reverse osmosis plant. Now, we don't get rid of all the electricity, we get rid of, say, three quarters of it, which means ultimately your water can be 30 to 40 percent cheaper. With a bit of luck, us and a couple of other guys are going to go out there and show a new way to desalinate. And if we can show that, then I think the big guys get interested, and when the big guys get interested, then this thing will start taking off. <laughs>